and um, Minister, you've, you've addressed a lot of my concerns. And again, it's the legal complexity that you talk about arising and seeking to facilitate an external review of accounts pro you know, provided privately. That was one of the, the concerns that I, I have. And you know, I, I know some survivors um, still feel that their testimony, testimony should be reviewed, and you've, you've answered um, that there. But I, I just kind of feel, and when you spoke about in your opening statement about um, some survivors could not see their own words in the final report, and I can only say, Minister, I've been on this committee since it was originally formed, and I, I know from working with you that you have been listening to survivors, because I know that in my own area, in Carlow, Kilkenny, you've met with survivors, you've came down to visit them, and you have, you know, I feel that you have been listening to, the, you know, to their concerns. Uh, I feel that there is an issue a little bit with communication now, particularly with this. And while I do welcome, and I know you were on the radio the other day, and I welcome that, the birth and information that over 1,898 have, have looked for their information, that is really welcome. And, you know, I, I think as part of our remit um, in this committee, we have to find solutions, Minister. And, you know, when we speak about, you know, I mean, we, you know, like we've met with so many survivors. And again, as, as previous speakers have said, this is so sensitive, so sensitive to the survivors and their families. But for me and for you, and I believe for this committee, we're finding solutions. And the only way we can do that is to work together and to make sure, and I see in, again, in your opening statement, you speak about um, in the coming weeks, I, I will seek government approval for publication of the Mother and Baby Homes Institution Payment Scheme. Now, Minister, one thing I am really affirm, and I have said this, and I will always say this, survivors are not getting any younger. And I feel now that we have a duty of care on payment as soon as possible. And I feel, and I've said this again, and I will say it, I feel local authorities need to play a bigger part in this going forward. I'm working at the moment on, um, on a case, a very sensitive case, uh, again, through a housing need, through other you know, medical cards and things like that. I feel we're not giving it the urgency that it needs. I feel that this needs to be more communicated. And I feel if nothing else, we need to deliver on all, you know, all the different things that we have agreed to. And I just feel, Minister, in the, the one thing we need to do now is make sure that there is the payment, that there is um, housing and grants and enhanced medical cards. And I know a lot of that has been worked on. I, I do understand that too. But there's a lot of things the Minister hasn't been worked on. And I just feel for us, for survivors, if nothing else is a committee that we deliver in that and we also deliver on, and I do welcome, and I know you spoke about uh, the National Centre for Research and the Remembrance. That is so important. But I just think we need a lot more joint up thinking, I think, to all the different agencies. And I would ask that that, that would be a priority. And I would ask, Minister, that time scale here is of utmost. And I would ask maybe that when you come back to us, that we would have some sort of a time scale, some more information that we can give to survivors that really do need that. And I think that's one thing I think that all of us now as a committee here are, are fully committed to that we make sure that our outcome is, is best, look, it's the best that we can for something that is so sensitive and has affected so many lives and so many people in our community. And again, Minister, I can only say to you, as someone that has worked with you and with the survivors that I have worked with, you have always wrote to them, you've always met with them, and you've always come back to them. And I am very respectful of that, as too is the survivors that you have talked to. Thank you that I have given, asked you to talk to. Thank you. Thanks, Deputy Minister. Thanks, thanks, Deputy. We'll just say, first of all, I, I recognise what you're saying in terms of communications, and particularly the communication of this. And I recognised in my, uh, my my opening statement that this wasn't communicated properly, um, and you know that's that's something we should have resolved. We we have our, our quarterly bulletin, but we ha should have provided a, a, an update on on this specific issue. Um, survivors shouldn't have been reading about this in 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 response to a media query. Um, you make the, the, the very fair point in terms of the, the age 
of, 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 of many of survivors. Um, and just in terms specifically on the issue of the, 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 the payments legislation, um, that legislation is, is, is it, 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 literally the, the final touches are being put to the full draft of that legislation. Uh, I need to bring it to Cabinet and then we look to bring it rapidly into the Dáil for, for second stage. Just if, if it is any reassurance to you, we're not just working on the legislation, we're also working on the basis that the legislation will be passed and we're putting in place the mechanisms that will actually allow for the processing of these payments because there will have to be a, a significant infrastructure behind this. We're talking about up to 34,000 individual payments, 16,000 medical, enhanced medical card applications. So there, there's a lot of work that yeah. has to go into to deliver that and deliver it in a timely manner. So that's happening at the same time as the legislation. So as I say, I would hope to have the legislation to cabinet this month and then swiftly into the Oireachtas after that. Um, and well, not look, looking to kind of sound defensive or any way like that legislation needs to happen, but I suppose just recognise that the, the, the unit in the department has delivered the Birth Information and Tracing Act and a lot of work, not just the legislation itself, but its implementation, have mm. delivered the Institutional yep. Burials Act and even today a piece of work going through Cabinet in terms of delivery of the agency. I've been working on this lived ex experience initiative, working on the records yep. and memorial centre and working on other elements of the scheme, like the, the, the funds for, for, for memorialisation mm. being, being, being undertaken by groups. So working on a range of I think eight of the 22 actions have been uh, in the action plan are completed, another 12 are, are, are underway. So an extensive body of work being undertaken, but I absolutely take your point that that, that redress is of huge importance huge. Yeah. to survivors and, and, and needs to be acted on swiftly. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, no, I, I, I just make sure. The main thing is, uh, thank you, Chair. As you said, Minister, timing is, and, and I would be, and I know all of us, you know, from working, as I said, and again in my own area of Carlo Kenny with yourself, Kathleen, like timing is crucial, Minister, that we get the payment scheme as out as possible and all the enhancements to with it. Thank you.